I'm going to start painting myself into a hole, but then I'll just step over this on top of the cardboard and finish it up after I after I get some more out there. And I, I'm not, you know, hey, nice easy day. Yes, if I if I had a my if I use my six inch roll right now, I'd almost be done, but it's okay. I'm enjoying the sun, giving myself a little sun to my face as I'm doing this. And it takes me a few minutes longer. Hey, no big. Right, right. Now, if this was a floor that was ten times bigger than this, of course I. I wouldn't even be using a six inch roller, I'd be using a 12 inch roller and or a nine inch roller cover. And you know they make they actually make a frame that's bigger than that. I think a 12 inch, they might even go up to 18 inches if you're doing something really huge. I've seen them at the store and I thought, my word, who would use that? I guess that's for roofs or hey, if you're seal sealing the floor to a warehouse, let's say, if you're going to do it with a roller, I'd probably spray it with a Hudson sprayer. I was doing something like that. paintbrush. I was using this the other day as a little broom sweeping up over here. It works fine. I use those quite often for stuff. somebody to do this and they probably charge me 50 bucks an hour plus 20% overhead and profit plus 20% overhead and profit for their material plus 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 I'm sick of plus I do it myself and save some more money So far, so good. I haven't gotten it on myself.
probably after this, putting the next coat on, I'll, I'll probably retire this little roller cover. Or I might, you know, if it still looks like it's got a little something to it, I might save it. I don't know what I would use it for. I've got plenty of other ones. But you can use roller covers for a while. You'll be the judge of it after, after using a roller for a while. You'll begin to figure out when you need to replace one. I used to paint lots of, lots of different little walls and stuff with a six inch mini roller and I got really good at it. And this one, this one couple, they asked me, hey, can you help us paint our condo? And I says, okay. And they, they masked it all off. They painted around the, the edges, the ceiling and the walls and the baseboard and all that. All I had to do was roll. And I got in there with my roller cover and halfway through, I'd used the roller cover for some other jobs and halfway through, I kept having to, to, to do it a slightly, I'd have to go over it a little bit extra. And literally, when I got done with it, the roller cover, all of the nap was worn off over here to about here. It tapered like a cone. And I could, I could get it on there, but then to back roll it, I'd have to use about that much of it, not the whole thing. And I'm like, what's happening here? And it was because I wore, I just flat out wore that whole thing out. I, I, I'm still kind of amazed how that happened. I didn't think I could do that. Okay. Looks like I need just a little more here. I haven't even used the paint much. And I'm already getting a slight skin over the top of it in the in the bucket. It's not that hot outside. I know what the deal is? Delio. stuff I first put on over there to the far right. Um, I could walk on it now. It's dry enough to re-go over except I won't be able to get out there. I'll just wait a few minutes. See, I, I don't have to really wait too long to put a second coat on, especially this this flooring. Now this is a OSB flooring and it's kind of rough on one side. And then it's smoother, harder smooth on the other side. And I opted to have the rough side facing up. So that the paint would stick to it more easily. And my flooring stuff that I'm going to put over this, that's going to really stick to it. And it's all going to be covered up anyways. 
with my concrete pavers. This is starting to look like a floor, man. Almost. It's a shame that I got to work over the top of this. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm going to do. And normally I would put, like if I had to wait a while to do the next coat, normally I would, I would take a plastic bag and I, or I could just take a plastic strip. This, this one, I, I kept a plastic bag and then I put, when I get done with the job, I put the, the roller right inside there. I put my paintbrush in there and then kind of twist it up around my uh, my extension, my broom handle, and then I take that out and, and clean it out. But like, if you're gonna wait, say, say you're going off for lunch, or you gotta run to the store, you don't have to, and you, you're not done painting, you don't have to, to clean this, but you don't wanna leave it like this because that's gonna get dry, and, and then it, it's going to be hard to work with later. Your brush is going to be all messed up. So I would just take a piece of plastic, lay it down, and then I'd put my roller in it, and I would set it down and roll it right up into the plastic. And then I would also do the same thing with the paintbrush. Take it and, and roll the plastic over, roll the plastic over, push the plastic down tight onto the, the, uh, the bristles and that'll keep it wet. And when I get the plastic bag over the, the roller cover, I, I push down on it all the way with my hand so that there's no air in it, okay? That'll keep it from drying up. Then when you get back from lunch or whatever, you unroll it off the plastic and away you go. But in this case, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it sit here for a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my paint, my plastic bag, and and put it inside out because I'm gonna use this later. So I'll just do it now. Just gonna take this. Put it on there. Roll it like that. Okay. And then I can take the paintbrush like that. Fold the end over. Push down on it like that. Okay. There. Push on that. 15 minutes from now, 20 minutes from now, half hour, even an hour from now. Unroll it and you're ready to paint some more. There's a tip for you. Here's another tip for you. If you don't know about it yet, I've got this little plastic, little uh, clippy thing that you put on here. It helps you pour the paint, but it also, you know, after you mix up the paint, if you need to mix it periodically, to clean this off, I wouldn't clean it off on this edge thing. I try to keep the paint out of that edge as much as possible. So I'll just take it, now I'll use it on the side of that. Take all the paint off and it just runs right in back into the can. Got this all nicely cleaned off. Or if you're doing some touch-up or whatever, you can do the paintbrush and just use this edge instead of the edge over here to let the paint all dribble down everywhere. That thing was, I don't know, 90, 99 cents or something. You can get them at this paint store or generally any hardware store. Pick one up next time you're doing some painting.